welcome to our kitchen once again my friends realize some molly here love having you here with us today we're going to be making a butterfish curry and butterfish is similar to bangamiri so butterfish is similar to bangamiri but it's a more delicious fish everyone would prefer to have butterfish over bangamiri and the major uh, difference between them in appearance is that the butterfish has a little reddish tone to the color. So for this recipe here guys, we're going to be using the fillets there for the butterfish. And we're going to be using some curry powder, garam masala, roasted ground jeera, tomato, onions, garlic, pepper, scallions. Let's begin guys. So this is the butterfish fillets we're going to be cooking here today. And as you can see, it has a little reddish tone to it, unlike the bangamiri. Are we going to be frying this fish today before we curry it? A lot of people prefer to fry it first. It helps it from uh, not breaking that easily in your curry. So Molly had washed this uh, butterfish here before we started filming. So as you can see these are already scraped and clean here. So you will want to pat your fish dry here before frying of course. So to begin with, we're going to add our oil here for frying. On this fish, we're just going to lightly season the fish. So we're just going to add some salt to the fish and some black pepper. And that's it for seasoning for frying here. So that's it. So our oil is hot here now. And you see the flour test there. So this is just some all purpose flour we're gonna coat the fish with for frying. So it's time to flip these here now. Okay guys, so this fish here is done frying. These you don't want to fry very brown. We've got all our seasonings chopped up, so we are ready to curry our fish. We've added some oil here, and this is hot. Okay guys, so Molly is going to mix our curry paste here now. And that's the curry powder, roasted ground jeera, and garam masala there. And that's the ground garlic and pepper. Ooh. 
water. And that's it. So we are heating some water here to add to our curry later. So our oil is hot here now. There's the curry paste. So you only want to fry your onions for about 30 seconds. So like with our shrimp curry guys, um, seeing that the fish is fried right now and it doesn't really have to cook, you're going to have to cook your curry paste for a bit longer now for about 4 or 5 minutes, just like in the case with the shrimp, so that this cooks uh, well. So we're going to cook this here for about 4 to 5 minutes, remember to stir because it can burn easily. So we're going to add the scallions here now and the tomato salt to taste So it's been about 5 minutes for curry paste here now. We're going to add the water that we have heated. So in this way you have already added your salt to season everything there. So here you can adjust, you can taste this and adjust your salt. So we let this boil here for about 3-4 to four minutes. And now we're going to add our fish. And don't think that this is too much gravy. Because the fish is fried only and it's going to soak up all of this, a lot of this gravy here now. So Molly's going to add a fish here.
So we've just added a fish here now and we've turned off the stove. Are we going to let that uh, the fish absorb all the gravy there? And that's about it. So here is our fish curry a few minutes later. And if you like this recipe guys, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Also check us out on Instagram at RealNiceGuyana1 and Facebook RealNiceGuyana. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.